We've covered here in the past about how Dr. Fauci, Anthony Fauci, admitted on tape on N in an NPR interview that he lied about wearing masks, that the U.S. government intentionally misled Americans about the efficacy of masks, Ryan, in order to try and stockpile masks for first responders. And the worst part is, all they had to do at the time was say, hey guys, make your own masks at home. Use whatever cloth you've got lying around. Please don't buy masks. Everybody would have complied. Instead, they set a standard in the beginning. God knows how many people are dead and did not follow real safety protocols in the beginning because we listened to the Surgeon General and to Dr. Fauci. Well, now that there are coronavirus cases spiking all across the nation and mask wearing has now become a thing where everybody's like, you have to wear a mask, which I agree with when you are out in public. Well, a huge backlash is actually growing against Dr. Fauci, largely from the right. And I thought it gets interesting. I wanted to make sure we covered it. Megan McCain was one of the more prominent people who talked about this on The View. Let's take a listen. And I think even for people like me, I have a lot of questions for Dr. Fauci. I'm 100% willing to say on television, I do not have faith and trust in Dr. Fauci in the way that I did. And it has to do with the fact that we have conversations on this show, which I think we're all in agreement about, about people wearing masks and being responsible. And we're all in agreement on that. And then I see a, a, a giant pride march in Chicago, which is great that people are out marching in any other time other than a pandemic right here. And we're not supposed to be this close together. I'm not supposed to be within six feet of people. So the narrative continues to confuse me. Republicans are the devil. Fox News is the devil. But protesters for pride and protesters for Black Lives Matter, it's fine. And the pandemic doesn't exist. Yeah, I mean, I, that is also something that very much irked me. I'm sure you, along with Crystal, are in the same boat, which is you think the protests are important. And as long as health officials are consistent that going out and protesting could risk your life as citizens, we can say, OK, well, I'm going to consider that information. I think that this is still important, so I'm going to go. I have no problem with that. I just right. don't want health officials in order to change their guidance based on who's protesting and who's not. And in this particular case, Fauci is an, has admittedly lied about masks yeah. on tape. How are we supposed to trust what he says about remdesivir? What if he says that something isn't working, right? If he's like, oh, actually, this drug doesn't work. And because they want to stockpile it for the U.S. government or the right. U.S. military— it's, he's broken his trust with the American people at a time whenever they need it the most. Yeah, trust and integrity from public health officials is, is everything. Yes. Uh, especially when you're getting mixed messages from, from the administration, which, is, which might push this yep. cure or this thing. Right. So you got to have somebody who you can say, okay, let's clear it away. Just, just tell, me, tell me what I need to know. And your point about mm. makeshift masks is key. Yeah. And treat the American people like grown-ups. With respect, yeah. And say, look, we got... Broken supply chains. We, we didn't think ahead enough. Uh, we could have actually stockpiled some N95s mm -hmm. for first responders. We didn't. Uh, it'll take us six weeks to, to get this together. So in the meantime, do not go out and hoard N95 yep. masks. However, it is very important for to keep your family safe and to keep your community safe that you wear something over, over your mouth. It's not going to be perfect, but it will be much better than nothing. Anybody have a bandana around? Do you have any? Do you have Take any a dish towel? You can anywhere. cut it up. Yeah, you can find something right. to put around your face. And what that does is it inculcates the value. Yes. That masking up is important for you, your family, and for the community. It's the right thing to do. And when masks become available, now you can get N95s. Now you can get a hospital masks. Then you start wearing those, yeah. and you and you reduce some of the the, the partisan conflict. O over over covering your mouth in and public. I, I can say this again anecdotally. I remember in early February, they were like, masks don't work. This was even before the N95 right. shortage. I said, I don't believe these people. And I bought two N95s. Right. If they had told me, they said, right. you know what? We have to keep the N95s and all that. I wouldn't have bought it. I would have bought one, as I did later, on Etsy, like a cloth mask. Um, I would have or made one myself but because I was afraid, and I knew microbiologists and virologists who were like, they're lying out of their teeth. They're like, you need to wear a mask. And yeah. that was the thing. That, I think that's a perfect macro example of what the whole country did, uh, where people were like, uh, I don't know, this doesn't sound right to me. So they listened to it or they just hoarded it anyway because they were like, you know what? I'm just, you know, they didn't know that it was because of health responders. Right. And I think that's so critical. And I'm just growing and watch. Look, again, I don't think Fauci is, now, I don't think he's a bad guy. But when they burned their public their credibility, right. two things burned it, which was that and the protest movement. Whenever I saw these epidemiologists being like, racism kills more people than coronavirus, so it's okay to go out and protest. I was like, you are full of it. 
I'm never going to listen to another word you say. Not one. If they tell me to stay inside, it could be a global pandemic, Spanish flu levels. I wouldn't believe a word that they say because I watch them just sacrifice their credibility in public. And that is something you can't ever put that back because, right. as you said, now mask wearing is like this weird cultural war thing, right? Yeah. People are like, oh, you're like you're a weakling if you wear a mask. Like, What's wrong with you? What are you talking about? If you're in public and you're like at a, at a business, if that's what it takes in order for me to go out, go out to eat, which I did recently while wearing a mask while I was waiting in, in line, wasn't that bad. It was fine. Yeah. It's actually, no, I mean, it's harder to wear a mask. It's, it's, yeah. la it's lazy not to. Right. So, yeah. so if, you want to, if you want to go from that angle. Right. But yes, you, you, could, you could easily tell people, listen, our guidance around the transmissibility of this disease does not change based on what, whether or not the protest yeah. is for opening up the economy. Right. Uh, for pride, for Black Lives Matter, against police violence, whether it's, whether it's voting uh, or whether it's going to the bar. Well, actually, mm -hmm. going to the bar is worse because yeah. you get drunk and, you, right. and your inhibitions go down. And, all, you know, you start out six feet away, and by the Talk end of the loud. night, you're, yeah. you're hugging and you're yelling at each other, right. fighting. Uh, Drink outside. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, you say, look, none of this is safe. We're telling you this. Yes. Do, do with that information what you will that that would have been a fine thing you think that the the protesters were going to stay back like they, no. they knew the risk they were taking and in fact if you go if you look at the videos of these protests you go to some almost everybody's wearing masks yes. at these. so that, i think it's great and there was out there was actually a, as much social distancing as you as you can imagine it right at, at a lot of the ones that that i saw uh so just tell people that let right. them let them pay and again, look, but yes he's lost a lot of his credibility if they want to disregard that as a protester if i'm a protester and i want to disregard social distancing because i believe that what i'm participating in is so important that i need to risk getting a disease you are an american citizen and that's fine I, I, I'm happy to be able to trust you. Same thing, by the way, with those lockdown protesters who we were very sympathetic to on this show because they were not getting the money that they needed. And for many of them, people were like, oh, look at them. They're violating social distancing, all of that. And so when you have one standard for one and not for the other, you're burning credibility with half of the country and making it so that Look, things could get a lot worse. I saw a thread yesterday, again, I don't know if it's true, from, so I don't know what to believe on coronavirus <laughs> anymore, who's like, I think we're gonna be in this like on off period for over a year. And if that's the case, we need to be able to trust somebody. And I don't think there's a lot of trust to go around. So I just wanted to bring everybody that update. And I think it's an interesting conversation you should all be having about how and what we filter and think about these public health officials in this time. We'll have more rising for you after this.